Hey everybody, Brian here from QuantLabs.net. Here we are in our Redis uh, with Simulink. Previous video showed you how to uh, run this uh, project uh, that can be retrieved from GitHub. I can now somewhat co-generate it, but only co-generate with C++. So let's do that. So we've come in here, co-generation options, seen that many times. It will not generate the binary files. Don't ask me why, but it will generate the codes. So that's where I can take it up to that point. So uh, let me just show you what it looks like. Oh, it's going to fail. Uh, so it doesn't like C. I'm not going to try and C yet, but uh, let me just clear that. Um, okay, so I'm going to switch it to C++. We're using the ERT TLC so we can get the main and all that. Okay, so let's do an apply. And okay. So, oh, now what am I doing? Sometimes it could be, uh, okay, let me do that again. Code generate, generate options. Now we're just choosing generate code only, generate code. Okay, let me go into our viewer here. Just going to issue some warnings, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so, uh, hopefully, should, uh, should get a report in a second here. There we go. So you've seen this report, uh, that's how it breaks down our usual generated code here, but for the custom code, uh, the wrapper and the custom code are placed here, uh, which is part of from that GitHub project, courtesy of our contributor, amazing contributor that uh, this person has put in, uh, as well as let's take a look at the traceability report. Oh, we didn't, we didn't include that. But uh, I've shown you how to do that. Um, well, why not? Why don't we just do that for kicks, uh, just to show you for those that may not have seen this before. So we are going to do comments, boom, 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 pretty well everything. Just do the Cadillac service so we can get um, pretty well every possible um, comment that we can get. And did I put my report in? Yes. Model to code, generate model, web view. Sure, why not? Make that easier for my members. Traceability report contents, traceable blocks, all these fun stuff. Static code me metrics, why not? And all that. Okay, because not everybody has access to the code generation uh, or the Simulink coder. So I'll include it for all my members that want to get access to it. Um, let's generate code. Let's see what happens. Still C++. So, um, oh, didn't like something here. Oh, okay. I've done something wrong. Code metrics. Not a problem. So, where's our code metrics? It's one of these that didn't like. Report generate static code metrics so this is new to me as i go through this generate code i like to make errors live um, so people can understand what the problem may be okay so let's see if this runs okay so far so good so far so good okay now it's generating the web view the web pages and all that fun stuff Let's see what it does. Now I've shown this before. This is really helpful uh, for those that may have never seen this. This is our general model. Uh, we can navigate through all this fun stuff. Um, you know, and you, 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 I think you, yeah, you, you, you can navigate through this quite easily, um, as if you're in Simulink. So that's pretty cool. So that will be all included for my members, yay. Okay, so uh, 
few previous whatever um, code interface imports we can now see in summary um, here are all our uh, traceability that I like to see As you can see here is our references of our uh, MATLAB functions and where they're referred to and where they're embedded in the um, code so that's pretty cool eh? so let me show you that again so let's say you're looking through the MATLAB code of one of these functions here this MATLAB function blah 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 um, you see it here the script here uh, whatever it might be function build command and you can you can zero in to the CPP itself and you can see here in the report the traceability report includes that command and here's the C equivalent of it or C++ equivalent that's very very useful um, so as you build out your more sophisticated models as you can imagine building out um, this kind of model looks complicated but believe me when you start adding in your we'll call it business logic trading logic uh, all your algorithms all that in this simulate model it gets kind of crazy so these traceability uh, reports are very very critical code replacement um, again I'm getting more and more uh, um, deeper into this as I as I see more real-world um, examples but again you get to see the um, comments that come out of this uh, that's why uh, MATLAB coder or sorry the simulate coder can be quite expensive to give you this type of uh, functionality but it saves you a ton of time all right um, yeah I'm pretty excited by this so nothing else really changes um, and uh, here's our friends code uh, all of it really we're just using a new utility to be able to co-generate it. So there you go. Um, the next question is if we have the ability to compile and link it and get into an executable in Linux. I tried to do the same thing in Windows and it just choked and bombed. So I've only tested it in Linux. This apparently was created in Mac. So that works there. But as I said in the previous video, you have to uh, do some uh, configuration on your include. Uh, directory path as well as your link path as well on the max command to for this to work okay so hopefully uh, this will conclude everything that so far so good um, and uh, one day we may include that lib trading model talk to you later and have a good day you got questions let me know